Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about the moon transiting the fourth house in a natal chart. And generally the moon is, is going to transit a house uh, for between uh, 48 and 72 hours in most instances. So anyway, so the first thing I, I want to talk about as far as the moon transiting the fourth house is that the mother may figure more prominently in one's life scheme than generally speaking. Uh, this could be a period of a little bit more introversion and introspection and not maybe not as much as when the moon is traversing the 12th house, but still this is a period where you might be really more to yourself and really not so much about being extroverted or gregarious. Uh, the moon has made the transition from the third house to the fourth before was a little bit more about being a little bit more sociable and being and, and maybe being even a little bit more talkative and loquacious than you generally were but now that the moon is in the transiting the fourth house it's a lot different and you might be more dedicated to matters pertaining to your home family your own emotional security uh, it's possible now you may be pondering about your own home and in some cases if you're not don't currently have your own home it might be something where you might be thinking a little bit about getting it and, and it becomes a little more of an emotional uh, concern to you perhaps in this time now uh, you may be dominated by home matters more in general during this tra moon's transit in the fourth house now you may need a little bit more, maybe a little bit more seclusion than usual at this point. And really, the home, maybe it might be kind of like that sanctuary or refuge for you right now during during this transit. And it could also be an outlet, perhaps, for emotional release uh, being in the home at this point. You might show a lot more nurturing attitude and sensitivity to matters around the home at this point in time. If there's any repairs or renovation that needs to be done, this may be a period where you may attend to it, it especially, you know, if, if it's something like, a, like some repair or crack in the wall for example this could be that time where you might feel more this need to do so because you might feel more attuned uh, to the home and, and just home matters in general could be something where maybe you do more activities around the home such as gardening or cultivating and things it might be uh where if you have certain family members, if they're not currently in your home, you might maybe invite them over at this time. You might feel more of a need uh, to have them in your home at this present time. Uh, it could be that maybe now uh, the mother may figure a little bit more strongly uh, in your life than usual. I mean, in many cases, the mother is going to figure strongly in, in someone's life, but it may be now that you may, it might, mother might figure even a little bit more uh, so than usual because the moon is transiting the fourth house. Now, this could also be uh, a period where you're really, you're trying to find, you might be more interested or more tuned with things that are really you feel at home with, things that you feel comfortable uh, with in your life. And it could be right now also that you might be getting more in touch uh, with your roots. You might feel need maybe, for example, to go online and go uh, research something, for example, like say ancestry.com and looking up things connected uh, with your ancestry, with, with your um, finding out more maybe about your ancestors. If, you, if you're not really sure of something connected with them and you're trying to find, verify, say, uh, there's say if there's some confusion regarding your nationality, for example, you're just trying to be doubly sure of that. It might be that time where you might feel that need to do this because it might make you feel more emotionally secure. It could be uh, possible, too, that when you're doing, uh, when this moon uh, is transiting the fourth house, it could be a period where you might be feeling maybe a little bit more emotional, a little bit more as far as the Cancer Zodiac sign, like, uh, so to speak. You might be feeling more uh, more connected with, with showing empathy and showing sympathy, compassion 
toward others. It might be a more time where you feel that need uh, to nurture and, and perhaps take care of. And anyway, it's also important to look at the sign uh, that the moon is in for either the majority or the whole period that it is in uh, the fourth house. So let's say, for example, that the moon is in Cancer for either the whole or the majority of the period that it's transiting uh, the fourth house. Well, this could be a period where maybe you might express things connected with nostalgia, uh, maybe things with cooking, uh, and this, and, and really this could be tied in perhaps to uh, emotional needs at this point in time and, and might be somehow connected with emotional security. Now, let's say that the moon is in Capricorn for either the majority or the whole period that the moon is transiting the fourth house. This could indicate that you might be showing a lot of serious attention to matters pertaining to the home. It could be showing where you're showing really strong responsibility. It could even be actually b business matters connected uh, with the home and at this point in time in my as far and that could be tied into your to feeling more secure uh, emotionally at this point in time now it's also important to look at and see if there's any uh the transits that are made during the time that the moon is transiting uh the fourth house uh, for example, let's say that the transiting moon is making a square in conjunct or opposition to your natal Mercury. Well, at this point in time, this there might be a little difficulty perhaps expressing uh, your feelings or emotions or perhaps articulating them. There might be something where they might get misunderstood, and especially perhaps in the home where you're doing this since the moon is transiting uh, the fourth house. Now let's say that the moon, okay, is in transit, it's in the transiting the fourth house, and it's making a sextile or trine to your uh, natal Uranus. Well, this could be a point where maybe you might come up with some, maybe some idea in the home that might be uh, maybe perhaps somewhat ingenious or might be very unique, might be very different. It could be something unanticipated or unexpected, some very spontaneous that might be positive, that might be very beneficial for you at this during this short time where it makes that uh, uh, makes that contact, makes that aspect, and it could be something connected that's positive uh, with the home. Well, anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for the moon transiting the fourth house in a natal chart. And stay tuned next time where I'll be dissertating and talking about the moon transiting the fifth house in a natal chart. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel, but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone. Because astrologically speaking, the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.